It's Ender.io today, peeps. That is right. One of the most hyped mods to return to 1.20 is what we're getting into today. So, anywho, um, yeah, we are getting into Ender.io. Uh, I think it's just time. I want to go ahead and get some Endo. Endio. I want to go ahead and get the fortune upgrade on all of the uh, mob slaughter factories. <clears throat> Did my voice just crack there? That was kind of embarrassing. But yeah, we need to get our process started here. We need to get some of this up. We've got quite a bit of resources. Now, I did go ahead and put an external storage on both of these oak drawers. Uh, we could just put like a drawer controller there and, and be set, but we wanted to do it the more advanced way. So anywho, what do we need for Ender.io? That's a good question. And what is Ender.io good for? Well, Ender.io is amazing specifically in my opinion for the cables um i might be thinking cables that's kind of interesting yes cables are fantastic um these item conduits you can have power items fluids um all going within a one block like stream so like the, it's all combined it's not like like how we have pipes how we can't combine these two into one like say if we only want um uh, if we only want items and fluid, like they have to be separate. You can use the universal cables, but Ender IO, it's like you combine these into the one block space and they're really good. Don't get me wrong, pipes are good, but Ender IO just, it's a much neater setup and we really like it. Um, so that's what we're getting into. They also have um, the ability for us to make some of these alloys um, that can be useful for for things uh, like the metallurgic mycelial generator, uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, as you can see, the experience rod that gives us an XP vacuum or an XP obelisk, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, let's get into that today. So we're going to need to be able to create the alloys. So the alloy smelter is going to be what we want to make, dark steel. We're going to need to get into primitive alloy smelting. So we're going to need these grains of infinity. Hold some flint in your off hand and some deep slate or cobbled in, uh, deep slate in your main hand and then shift click a block of obsidian, crying obsidian or grindstone to produce early grains of infinity. So we need cobbled deep slate in our main hand and then we need some flint in our off hand. So I do have some flint. Um, here we go. And then some cobble. So this goes in our off hand. This goes in our main hand. Where did my grindstone go? It's not here. Okay, let's just grab some obsidian then. All right, we'll just put the obsidian right here. Shift. Oh, sorry, it needs to be deep slate, not cobble. I've done goofed. Okay. So there you go, as you can see in my inventory, we are getting ourselves some grains of infinity. Good, cool. So it just needs to actually be one flint, not a full stack. Cool. Oh, I just got rid of it. We need that. All right, grains of infinity. So now we can go ahead and make a primitive alloy smelter. Um, and should actually just be able to, oh wait, we, that needs fuel, I think. Yep, okay. So let us make the normal alloy smelter right away. So we need a couple of things. For one, we need a cauldron. We'll make that, we'll put that back in here. Uh, we need the void chassis. I know it's chassis. I just like saying chassis, okay? And then we need ourselves some dark steel. So we need iron. We need coal dust from Greg Tech, of all things. We can't make the crusher from mechanism. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves maybe one of these. Yep, okay. That's that. I guess that's how we're going to do it. Cool, so coal dust, we need to make this guy. Oh, we could have made it a lot easier. All right, now we take some coal, we get some coal dust. That's a full stack. It's a little bit more. I guess we'll just make a full thing. Obsidian. Okay, so now that's cooking and we'll let it process up for a bit. All right, so we got a few of these processed up. I'm done waiting. We need ourselves an alloy smelter. Get out of here, you primitive thing. Oh yeah, and I forgot, they like to hold on to what's inside of them. <laughs> Get it back. Good, so put that back in here. And oh, yep, now we need a capacitor. 
So, we should be able to make one. Ooh, make one with those. Good. Boom, capacitor basic modifier. Should be getting power. Delicious. No, not. Don't do that. Good, okay. So, we're going to want to definitely upgrade to the layer two capacitor. So, we're going to need. Oh, we're going to need two of these. Like so. Got those. We got the coal dust from Grig Tech. We'll do one of these. That's charcoal dust. We need ourselves some coal dust. Good. All right. And then we just need some energetic alloy, which is redstone, gold, and glowstone. So redstone, glowstone, and some gold. And we're going to make ourselves a second alloy smelter. So we need two of these. We need another cauldron. Cool. So we take this guy. And theoretically, we can put him here. And it needs a capacitor as well. Yep, it's getting power. Cool. So that'll be working on that. And then we can make a sag mill. Let's see. All right, a sag mill. Perfect. This will break some stuff down for us. And I think I'm just going to break this guy. Badook. Okay, that's going to need a capacitor as well. And so are we. Cool. So this one's got a capacitor now as well. So we can take some coal, throw it in here, and it will process it up for us. And I believe you can take flint, actually. Flint. And put it in here as well, and it'll help with the processing. Very cool. So the reason we wanted to get into Ender.io was for the looting. We need the enchanter, so we need a book. Did I not make the book? What happened? All right, enchanter, good. <clears throat> Where do we put this? We will put this here. We can access it. Good. So looting is skeleton skull heads and lapis. So I believe we made some lapis, lapis lazuli seeds. I'm not too sure where they went. They're in a weird spot. But we have quite a few of these. Oh, the slimes. I was like, what is that sound? The slimes. I forgot to move them. Somewhere, there's lapis lazuli seeds. Here they are. Forgot about these guys. There we go. <clears throat> cool beans. So, those, that, I believe it's like this. Yep. We've got the levels for it. So now we're going to get ourselves a heck ton of looting books. So, bing, bing. Oh, we need... De Whoa. Do we need... Oh, we need a book and quill. That's not good. Oh. Huh. That kind of sucks. Okay. It's not the most efficient process in the world, but hey, it's it's going to work. So now that we have the looting, we can do one of those. Got five. Five of them. Now we're out of feathers. Okay, I'm going to do this for a bit. Okay, so the other thing we wanted to get Endryo for was for the traveling guys. Um, so we need to make a soul binder. Ooh, okay. All right, so we need ourselves some energy. Oh, okay. So that's pretty simple to to create. Um, empty soul vial. We need some solarium. How do we get the solarium? Soul sand and gold. Um, soul. So we got some soul sand. Do we have some gold? Hey, we have some gold. Good. Put those in there to get us some um, solarium. Very good. All right, that's those guys taken care of. And I think we just need normal quartz for that. So let's get some of those. Wait, it's not. Oh, I see. Okay, so we take this, put this in here. Yes, good, good. More solarium, good. All right. Oh, Z Logic Controller Slice and Splice. I remember these. All right. So we need some soul change. We need the quartz, dust, and solarium nuggets. It's a whole process. I'm telling you, it's worth it in the end, I hope. Okay, so we take some more nether quartz. We're going to put that in our sag mill. Yep, there's our powdered quartz that we needed. Got our fused quartz. More solarium. More powdered quartz. Good. Four that we needed for this. Slice and splash. Two of those. 
two of those. That was all that we had. So we're gonna get, need to make some more. Good, so slice and splice is created. Um, I guess we can put it here. Boom, okay, so this is gonna get power. We need some more capacitors. All right, double layer capacitor here. Booyah, slice and splice. Okay, so we need a Z logic controller, which is gonna take uh, an ax. So I must ask you a question. It's also gonna take some shears. So I'll put those in the top. It's clipping time. So we need some solarium, some silicone. All right, another silicone. Um, need the solarium. We got some here. Wait, is it two? Yeah, it's two. Boom, boom. And then it's redstone. And then we need to go grab a zombie head. Grab a whole stack of them. We had the beheading upgrade on our thing. That's why we're able to make it. All right, Z logic controller, booyah. Working great. There we go. Our Z logic controller for the soul binder. And we got our empty soul vial. Need some of those. Need some of those. Got two of those. Okay, we need powdered quartz. Put those in there. And our soul binder is there. Good. Can I put that here? Oh, we need another capacitor. We'll use this loot one that we got. I don't know if it's good. It might be good. I think it's good. All right. So we need this ender crystal here. This is our goal. So we need a vibrant crystal, which is vibrant alloy, which is energetic alloy. Redstone, gold, and glowstone combined. So I'll make that. Redstone. I don't think I have glowstone set up yet. Okay, so this is where we will make the energetic alloy, and then we can combine it with ender pearls over here to make the vibrant. Good. I am going to make the better capacitor here. There we go. All right, we got four of them. Can make the octactic. So we need one, two, three, four. Need eight of these now. Actually, we didn't need eight. I don't know why where I came up with that number. All right, so we put this guy in here. We can put those here. Grab those, put those here. So now this is moving. And then we can make another one for our guy here. Oh, jeez, Louise, that scared me. Okay, so we've got enough here to surround an emerald. So we go like this. There we go, we got step one of our soul binder. That was a scary ghost. And then we need a soul vial. I could just go to the end. I think that's probably a faster way to find an enderman. Oh, it's not working. Huh, okay, well. Let's find one here. I got an Enderman. Cool. That was actually rather tricky to, to snatch one on the way down. Um, oops. Flip those. Okay, cool. So now we have this. And I think we need buckets of essence. I think you can just click this with a bucket. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Okay, so this is how we're getting essence into our, our uh, soul binder. So I have it set up to pull level or pull from the front, and I just set up a uh, fluid tank from Ender.io, and it's uh, it's actually really cheap. Um, it's just, you know, like that. So that ended up getting us the Ender Crystal that we needed. So we can now make the Staff of the Traveling, and now we need to make Pulsating. Oh, we got that. Good. Oh, that's a little different, huh? So the Travel Anchors are what we want. Uh, pulsating, it's iron and ender pearls. Let's give that a whirl. Okay, so I just want to get a full stack of them here. Uh, there we go, perfect. So we got all of those. So now we should be able to make these guys. No problem, we made a total of eight of them, very good. And then we need some conduit binder. Okay, that's pretty simple to make. We have a cool, quick way to smelt these guys. Wow, that gave us a lot more than I thought it would. Okay, so here we go. Got a total of eight conduit binders. 
Nice. So I'm going to place one here. I believe you can name these. Yes. So this will be home base. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Visible. I don't know what that does. But if we put one, say, over here at the enchanting station, and we rename it. If we stand on it, we should, yep, we see them. So we can go like that. And I don't know. Oh, what the, oh, okay. So wherever we're at with the travel anchor, we can do that. But say if we don't have it, if we step on it, nope. This is our new way of teleporting. Nice, we can set one up at the mob farm too. Again, you have to be within range for these guys, but uh, this actually, we're, it's not gonna remain here. We're gonna move this to a compact machine eventually. Mobs, so go back home. Hey, we wanna get bit to the mobs real quick. There we go. Uh, let's do the create factory. We'll do one for this. Yeah, the door will be there. So let's put it right on the inside of the door, actually. We'll do it like right here. Create factory. Cool, so we can go home real quick. Boom, we're back. We can get to the create factory. We can get to the enchanting area. This is awesome. I love the travel anchors. I didn't realize though, I thought you had to be standing on it. That's cool. And we're just back instantly. So we can put one down in the basement as well. So... I don't know, we can find the center of the room-ish. Oh, yep. We can say, I would say B3 for basement three. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful. B3 and then heck, even above it, we could put one in here and then we're gonna have a, there's gonna be another room within here. This is where our factory is gonna go for stuff. But look at that, mob, mobs right here. Oh, we gotta go home. That's so cool. I love that so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move all of these guys to a very specific and dedicated spot just for them. Um, just making sure, probably gonna bring the enchanter as well. Um, yeah, so we'll go, we'll go down here. I've been working on this space. Um, you know, this is where it enters from the little town area and it kind of splits off, goes this way and this is going to be our little ender io room in here uh we'll, we'll fix this here eventually but um yeah we're going to put these into the wall and it's going to give us some room to to kind of do what we need um you know room to expand which is good get two of those good okay so alloy smelters i like having the ender io ones not actually right next to each other. So alloy smelter, we'll do this, and then we'll do alloy smelter, and then this, and then sag mill, and then this, and then slice and splice, and soul binder. Not in that order. That turned out really good. <laughs> I did not expect it to work that well. Okay, so I've also got the, we're not gonna be plugging them in directly to power because eventually I would like to automate them. Um, actually, let's bring this back one more. Oh, geez. Ooh, dry ice, nice. So we're gonna put, um, we're gonna put these here. Okay, then we're gonna set these to our network. Good, and then we'll put these advanced wireless block chargers up above them. So these guys should be receiving power. Um, you can test it. Yeah, there you go. The copper in there as well. Yeah, there we go. So those are getting power. Very good. And I was just thinking, like, being down here so far away from our base, like we have to go either slash home and back. Uh, I think it's time that we get into the wireless part of refined storage. Um, yeah, here and we'll make ourselves a wireless crafting terminal. All right, here we go, wireless crafting grid. We're gonna be making one of these now. Uh, I guess, oh, I guess we just need to make a crafting grid. All right, there we go, we got ourselves a grid. Combine that, make a crafting grid. And then, oh, we need some more this. Good, okay, so wireless, wireless crafting grid. 
we need a wireless transmitter. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a wireless transmitter. Uh, oh, we can auto craft it. Good. All right, so need to find a spot to put it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we need booster for range. Booster. Infinity range booster. That's what we want. Range upgrades. We need... Okay, there we go. So range booster. Three of those. Infinity range booster. There we go. 4,000 FE per tick. Jeez, is our system able to keep up? We might need to upgrade that. But now, yeah, we've got this down here. We've got, we can craft things down here. We can be like, hey, we need, we need some deep slate tiles. And then we can be like this. Boom, look at that. Now all of our stuff is here. Now we can put crafters on top and, you know, set up the back to pull items through. But yeah, we're rocking and rolling. I mean, we could even, we could even make one. Like so. Make four of them, I guess. Yeah, but now we have the ability to do this anywhere in the world. So, I mean, if we even, if we go to enchanting, we still have access to our items. Go back. Create factory. Basement three. Items. Um, I do have the player charging turned on from Flux Networks, but it doesn't seem to be working properly. So that's why we're not, that's why I might be going through it. Yeah, I believe taking items out is what draws the power. Oh, I did need to make one more crafter. But ladies and gentlemen, look at that. We have Ender.io set up, ready to rock. Uh, off camera, I can go ahead and upgrade all of these to the, the best capacitors that we can get the octatic. And then like we can find some cool loot ones in caves and stuff. Um, but we'll worry about that in a later episode. But thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.